So Matt, tell us uh, where we are and what we're looking at down here. So we're with the um, Ukrainian captains uh, training course, uh, training uh, captains in the territorial defense forces on uh, how to do military decision-making process and troop leading procedures. So we're in a classroom now where uh, they're in the middle of an exercise and these particular, these captains are getting uh, practice in uh, receiving orders from higher headquarters and then turning them into precise instructions for their company. So they use tools like this, uh, which is very simple and basic. Uh, you see here what looks like an operations order from the battalion headquarters that the company commander would receive. Uh, this is sort of his task organization that he has to work with. And then you've got these icons here, these little pieces. Uh, represent different units. The red would be Russian, blue would be friendly forces or Ukrainian. And in this particular exercise, they've been uh, given a map with uh, some terrain and some predictions about how the Russians are oriented and what types of weapon systems they have. Uh, and then the task for the captain is, uh, how do you take your forces and array them on the battlefield in order to accomplish the mission in the best way, using what you know about the terrain, what you know about the enemy forces, and what your unit is uh, attempting to accomplish. So the captain has plenty of pieces to work with with all of his subordinate units, and within his troop leading procedures, he has to take all of those instructions that he's been given and all the different variables and come up with the very best plan that will accomplish the mission with the least amount of casualties. So. Uh, they're getting plenty of practice doing this, and they'll repeat this over and over again under the guidance of uh, trained instructors until they get it right. And then that way, when they go out in, into the field, when they get instructions from the battalion headquarters to conduct a mission, they are going to be as prepared as they can be to uh, create uh, the best orders that they can and uh, get, their, get their troops to accomplish the missions with the least amount of casualties. And explain a little bit more about the, the couple of uh, different... Uh things we talked about earlier like down here yeah this is simple military terminology so these icons right here represent different units at different echelons <laughs> so uh, what we have here is three mechanized infantry companies that make up part of this battalion along with many of the uh, subordinate <coughs> elements including signal uh, logistics engineer units air defense um, mechanized artillery, mortars, all the components you'd see in a battalion. The company commander would need to know uh, what units are in his left and right within the larger battalion, uh, and uh, he has to keep those into account. Got it. And uh, last thing, uh, what have uh, you heard about the effectiveness of the uh, captain's training that we supported? Everything we've heard is this course has been rousing success. Um, the uh, Territorial Defense Forces at the beginning of this war had less than 3% of their officers that had any prior military experience. So uh, this course was desperately needed. And now in the past uh, year, they've had uh, probably about 500 captains that are, have gone through this course or are currently attending this course. And when they go back out to the units, they're having, uh, they're seeing measurable increases in combat effectiveness and lower casualties. Great, thank you.